Okay folks, here today we're going to solve our water hammer problem around our washing machine and also a, a toilet on the other side of the wall here and a shower upstairs. I think I can accomplish all of this with a water hammer device uh, installed here at the uh, uh, washer, clothes washer. Okay, as we move our dryer out in order to get to our the, uh, washing machine here and the hoses, this is a good time to do a little bit of cleaning because you always find dust and dust bunnies and everything else up under the dryer and the washing machine. Here we go. Let's see. We'll move this up. Look under here. I think there's a little bit of everything up under this thing. Found a quarter here. And the cap. Put this over here in the tray. I'm gonna stop a minute while I clean out my As you can notice now, I have took the uh, dryer hose loose and completed the cleaning out from under the dryer and also behind it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the valves off here. And here, let me reach up under here. And okay. I've got the cold water cut off. The left one, one on the left is the hot water. Oh. And I've also got it cut off also. Now one thing you have to do is, and I'll try it this way. Let's see here. I'm going to turn on the, uh, let's see, let's get we turning on the this and I'm trying to get it to uh, get a little bit of go ahead and get the water get the pressure off the line by starting the uh, washer trying to see if we can get the water to come on and release the pressure on the uh, cold and hot water line. I've got it on temperature on warm which means both the cold and the hot water is on. Now 
now, be now before we get to the installation of the water hammer arresters, let's look in here and let you see something I've also done. I've got in here a container which holds a uh, water filter for the uh, washing machine and uh, put this on as we were getting some clothes that were getting some uh, uh, kind of a sediment in into and staining staining the clothes now as you can see the line comes from the cold water uh, shut off valve on down and on over to the uh, filter here I highly recommend that you put this in here. Now you're going to need a line also from there on the cold water that goes to the clothes washer itself. So you have to buy another uh, cold water line possibly to put this in here in a second. You can see this filter has become dirty over time here and since I'm back here I might as well replace the uh, filter in this filter device and I've got a new filter here I got this from Lowe's and I also got the the filter device here from Lowe's and okay now I'll see whether I can open it up and change this take the filter wrench and put it on there which comes with the part and somehow you got to hold on to it okay this is the filter installed behind the washing machine note I have also uh, I took the uh, wrench that comes that you, comes with the uh, filter when you buy it I put it in the can there so I'll know where it is every time I need to go to change a filter. Okay, I went to Lowe's and got a water hammer arrester and it's listed for the washing machine. It's made for the connections that go to the washing machine. So all we've got to do is put them in now. Okay, I've got the shark bite water hammer arrester that I got from uh, Lowe's and we'll see how it goes on now it should go on there pretty easy okay we'll put the arrester on right now Channel pliers and tighten it up. That was a hot water line. Get the hot water line around here. We'll finish tight with that later. Getting ready to put on the second one. Note this is a shark bite 
water hammer arrestor double A size. It's listed for a washing machine, but it'll help on everything as that water ha hammer travels down the pipes. Let's see if we can get this one in and start it. Okay, get the channel pliers. I think that's got it. Okay. I had to take loose one of the lines on the cold water side here to the filter in order to be able to get enough grip to to take out the uh, bottom cylinder. So. Okay, we got it all connected and installed. And we'll turn on the water and see whether we've got any leaks. You never know. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Got any water leaks? I don't see any so far. Turn the stem completely out.
get you a better look at the filter there. You got a hose coming in from both sides, one going to the washing machine and the other going to the inlet in the wall. Once you got these in, they uh, does take a little effort to get around and get to the hot water valve and turn it on. Probably been better to do the perhaps do the hot water one before turn it on before I turn on the cold water. <sighs> okay. Now I just feel around for anything wet. Now it'll be cold, but I'll feel around see if you see any. Dampness that might be because it's leaking. I don't feel anything right off. Okay. There, we got a completed installation of these water hammer arresters both on the cold and hot water lines. The completed water hammer arrester uh, installation here today. It wasn't too bad except I decided to add in uh, replacing the uh, water filter on the cold line going to the washing machine and also cleaning out around and beneath the uh, washing machine and dryer. Here's another project that you might take upon yourself. Get a surge arrestor and put it into the electrical outlet here and plug in the power line going to the washing machine. This, since all washing machines nowadays have a lot of electronics in them, this helps protect your uh, electronics and your washing machine. Maybe save you a lot of money.